Many of you may have this kit. It's the Geo model folding shapes, and I love this kit for many different reasons. So if you have this kit, it is basically we talk about 3D shapes, we talk you can talk about area, you can talk about volume, you can talk about nets with this kit. There's 22 pieces as it says for the kit. The great thing about it is when you open it up, and I've taken out a couple of the pieces, but when you open it up, you'll notice that you can actually fill these up. So if you're looking at volume, you can you can technically fill these up with sand, which is awesome. And then you can tap it back over and you can compare the volume. If, if you use sand or rice, you can compare the volume between different ones so that you can actually pour what's in here into this one and you can take measurements, those kind of things. I really like that. But another reason I like this is because they come with the folding net and you can see that this is a rectangular prism and you can see that it has one two three four four rectangles and two squares and that makes up the net and you can talk about that you can use these which i really love you could lay these out and do a matching game so if i laid these out and did a matching game i could lay these out like this and just have a couple of them laid out and it depends on my student as to how many I would probably put out at first and say okay um, let me put the bottoms back on these um, and put them out here so they're real easy to snap together that's the other big plus to these so and then I can say okay let's look at these shapes and look at the nets and which ones do you think goes with which one so if I had this one I can say, oh, okay, well, let's look at this. Does this fit? If I make this, does it look the same as this one? And yes, and then they can actually put it back in if they need to, which is great for our students to be able to see how that would fit right in there and how that's the net. And so what is the net for this pyramid? Is this, this pyramid, triangular pyramid? And they can see that it's made up of four triangles. We can talk about equilateral triangles at this point. Why are they equilateral triangles? I can do measurements, which is awesome for our students. Now, another thing, so that is just a matching game that they could do. Like I said here, we did this one already. They can actually put it down in there. This one, of course, is our hexagonal prism. And we can talk about how the hexagonal prism is actually made up of one, two, three, four, five, six six because it's a hexagon it has six sides and the top and the bottom is a hexagon but these are actually what well the rectangles so it has six rectangles and then the hexagon sits on the top and the bottom that's how we know it's a hexagonal prism um so that's one thing another thing that you could do is you could play i have who has so you create a bunch of cards and basically just put on the cards the vertices the faces and the edges and it could be as, as simple as I have an even number of vertices. I have four faces that are isosceles triangles. So, and I have an even number of edges. So let's see if this fits that. So even number of edges, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is an even number. So we have a six, even number of edges. I have an even number of vertices, one, two, three, four. So I have an even number of vertices. So this fits the I have who has card. And so they can say, well, this is the one that fits that card. And for some students, I would just have them to lay them down on the cards to match them with them. And that would work. For others, you might want to have them to actually, uh, if it's a dry erase card, to write tri a triangular pyramid on it. And so and they can actually get the wording from the bottom, which is great. Uh, so that's how you can use this wonderful pack, like I said, that's just one of the ways of I have who has and or who am I or how, how do you, ever you want to do that one. Another thing is to go through and have the students to say, okay, this is a hexagonal prism. How many faces does it have? How many edges? How many vertices? Because they need to know that. The other thing that you would want them to do is, like I said, the matching game is one that you could do, but another thing and I'll pull out a different one here. Is if you're comparing for our students in size, volume, who has more volume? 
And so here's a square, and we would talk about the, the length and, and the width and uh, the length and width and the height of that in comparison to this little one, this little rectangular pyramid or prism, it's a pyramid, prism. And what's the difference in the volumes? And so you could have that conversation with your students. You could have a conversation about which one has a bigger volume for, in comparison for a pentagonal prism, in comparison to a triangular prism. You could do that. You could talk about um, the pentagonal prism and compare it to a pentagonal pyramid. And does this one have half the amount that's in here? And so we can talk about those kind of things and compare them. And like I said, I you can use rice or you can use sand. Some people have sand trays already in their room, so you can just use those sand trays. Uh, if not, and you want to use rice, that's definitely an option. I just sometimes think that rice cleans up quicker than sand trays. So that's just uh, one of the reasons why I like to use a sand tray. I mean a rice tray. 